We are on the way to Barcelona. We have a problem. Okay, we have no problem. Suhan one problem zero. We're on the train. I'm not sitting on the floor. I'm actually sitting on the tiny little door seats. Are you enjoying your little seat? Is yeah, it broken? Yeah. Premium, premium class. Premium class seats here. And uh, we'll be reaching the airport soon. Hola, I am in Barcelona and uh, we're just walking outside our Airbnb. Some nice views, a nice view of, of the whole city from these steps. Uh, behind me I have Tom and Jerry. Or just Jerry. No, there's Tom as well down there. But Jerry is my favorite. Hi Jerry. So what are my first impressions of Barcelona? I have been here before twice actually. Once was to visit um, some friends and once was uh, for a pageant actually so um, this was Miss India Europe which took place in Barcelona and um, that was a great experience but I didn't actually get to see Barcelona properly that time so anyway this is my third time in Barcelona and my first impressions so my third impressions the people are so friendly honestly like we um, booked into our Airbnb and met the owners and they were so lovely. Okay, so we stayed in an Airbnb in Lisbon and Vivek had some very insightful things to say about it. Again, I would like to ask him the same question. What is your opinion on Airbnbs? Yes, I think Airbnbs are great. You know, you get to stay in someone's home, you get to meet local people instead of a hotel, which is just, you know, a bit generic, a bit bland. We're staying, you know, in a nice local area. Very good. <laughs> Sounds very local. Yeah. We're staying in this um, street called Varsovia. And ironically, when I was in India, I was staying in a little area called Varsova. So, Varsova, and this is Varsovia. And now we're off to explore the city. Uh, Barcelona, again, is one of those cities where you can just walk around all day, all night, um, and you don't feel tired because it's just such an easy walk. When you're traveling to a city like that, you want to make sure you're comfortable. So I like to wear comfortable clothes. Right now I'm wearing this play suit or jumpsuit, whatever you want to call it, with some deep pockets. Just so you can like stuff your pockets with things. Um, a nice backpack, but probably not put your valuables in there because of pickpocketing. Um, comfortable shoes comfortable hair so it's all out of the way, sunglasses, um, a bottle of water and you're ready to go. You're pretty much sorted for the rest of the day. I love how they have yellow post box here. Very cool. We have red ones but yellow is even better. This behind me is, wait for it, the Recinte Modernista de Saint Paul and it's also a UNESCO heritage site. So while I wait for my food to come, I'm gonna brush up on some Spanish. A phrase that I like is, lo siento, estoy ocupada, which means I'm sorry I'm busy. Favorite phrase. Behind me is the Sagrada Familia. Audi had dedicated this to the Holy Family and uh, it's still under construction. It's been over a hundred years and it's still being made. The architecture is absolutely beautiful. The intricacy of the details and designs and oh, it's just really great. You have to see it um, close up in real life. It's gonna finish in 2026. So there's still a long time for it to finish, but already as an unfinished building, it's absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. This is the place you need to come to first when you're coming to Barcelona. Arco di Triunfo, pronounced really badly. Suhan zero pronunciation one. Again, very grand, really stands out. These beautiful palm trees planted on this walk in front of it. So it's just a lovely atmosphere to be in. There are some dances and there's there is some, there's some activity going on ahead of me. Small crowds, um, very lively atmosphere. It's fun to just chill here. Um, take a break from all the walking. There seems to be a magic show happening behind me. Either it's a magic show or someone's just getting tied up for fun. Um, 
he doesn't look like he's having fun. And behind me we have the Hare Krishna group um, sitting on the grass and um, singing their bhajans. If you keep walking ahead, you'll get to Citadel Park, which has a zoo, a National Science Museum, lots of greenery. This behind me is a perfect picnic spot at the Citadel Park. Um, it almost looks too pretty to be true. Everyone's doing really fun activities like juggling, um, gymnastics, yoga. And I'm sitting with their dogs, taking a nap by themselves. You can always find an Indian restaurant wherever you go in the world. So here I am sitting in Barcelona with um, palak paneer and rice and mango lassi. We're at a Brazilian restaurant and they make everything out of tapioca which is going to be really interesting because I've never had that outside at a restaurant and um, they seem to love their gluten-free food here um, even on yogurt which doesn't typically have gluten in it it says without gluten and here's my tapioca tapioca it's called tapioca <laughs> Ice on my head. It works. I'm at the Bokaria market and it is busy, very, very busy. A lot of hustle and bustle. Here at the Bokaria market, you can get smoothies for one euro. Um, we're starting at one euro and it goes up to two euros maximum. So I've got a strawberry and coconut flavored smoothie. I'm gonna try it. Mm, yummy! So here I am at La Rambla or Las Ramblas, whatever you want to call it, both are correct. Um, this is one of the most popular places to visit in Barcelona. It is this long stretch of walk which goes on for one mile. Lots of little uh, market stalls on the way, selling touristy things. And just generally, it's a really fun place to be. You just keep walking. Even if you don't want to shop, you can just pick up on the lively energy and atmosphere. And of course, don't leave Barcelona without going to La Rambla. Now, <laughs> La Rambla and other places touristy places um, there are a lot of people who could con you so Vivek here is gonna tell you how not to get conned step one uh, see what they're offering you step two be extra careful if they're being extra nice step three and if they're offering free food remember there's no such thing as a free meal oh, so those are the steps you need to take when figuring out if you're about to get conned like I did the funny thing is that we've spotted so many Indians here and every time we meet them they're very intrigued and they have really nice long conversations. Um, so we were just joking around that it would actually be more useful to learn Hindi than Spanish. So here I am teaching my brother a bit of Hindi so that he'll be prepared for his year abroad in Barcelona. Yes, so when you see someone at the till and you think that they're Indian or Pakistani then you can ask them Aap Hindi mein baat kar sakte ho? Main Hindi sikh raha hu Is desh mein? Kya lagta hai? Is desh mein kya lagta hai? Almost you can say uh, Ye desh kaisa lagta hai? Hmm, that's much simpler you can't go to Spain and not have tapas, so we have some vegetarian tapas. That's so good. Of course, churros is something you must have if you're visiting Barcelona. Um, it comes with a bit of hot chocolate, so you dip it in the hot chocolate. I'm
London. Today we're going to Mount Jewick um, via the cable. It's going to be a fun ride to the top. We have our own little car with four people in it. Here I am at the very green Mount Jewett Castle. from the tree. around on the sand, um, dipping into the sea. The water is quite warm actually so you can go for a nice swim in there. Um, we did see a jellyfish though so be careful. Um, not sure if they're poisonous ones and not sure if it was a real jellyfish or just something that looked like a jellyfish but um, something to be aware of if you're going to swim in the sea. Today I have come to Park Well and again it's designed by Anthony Gaudi and it's so colourful, it's probably one of the most colourful places in Barcelona. It was originally designed as a residential urban development area but it didn't quite work out so in the end it was sold to the city as a public park which is nice because we get to walk around. There's also a lucky lizard um, that if you want to take a picture with you have to pay but um, I've never heard of a lucky lizard so if you want some luck you know where to go. Climbing up all of these pretty stairs but we don't know what's at the top so keep climbing till we find out and there might be nothing. So if you get to the top of these stairs, then your prize is some beautiful Spanish music and this house. The Gothic Quarter is a place where you can just walk around for hours on end in these tiny little streets. I'm on the free walking tour, which is a great way to see the city. Um, of course, you give donations at the end. Our tour guide isn't a professional tour guide. He's just someone who's really passionate about arts and culture. So it's a good way to just hear someone's perspective on the city and their favorite spots. Day 
trip to Barcelona and I've honestly enjoyed every single moment of it. The culture, the people, the beaches, the history, the food, everything has just been perfect. Um, if you enjoyed this vlog, as always, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, I'll be back with more videos.